Hello, so today we will be making the three views of an aircraft in AutoCAD. So basically you go to insert and attach, attach the PNG of the three views of your aircraft. Then wala ka nang gagalawin. You click OK. You insert it at point zero zero. You click uh, 1 to scale it to 1. Then, the next step, kunin nyo yung length ng wingtip nyo. It should be the actual length of the aircraft. So finally nakuha ko rin, kinonvert ko siya into inches. Kasi inches yung measurement ko. Then I made layers ng line. Basically yung reference, no akong green. And meron ako sa for the plane, which is the red one. Later on makikita natin kung bakit. So for the red, since swing tip to wing tip siya, I created a line from the tip to the other tip. You see, ginamit ko yung red. Kasi ito yung sa actual na plane. Then, nag-change ako ng layer. Nawa akong green. Same point sa left. Line ulit. Then, nilagay ko yung length no actual na aircraft. Yan. So, kinumpute ko siya. Kinonvert ko siya into inches. Since inches nga yung akin. And as we can see, anlaki, diba? Kasi yan yung mismong wingtip ng aircraft in terms of inches. We will use scale para lumaki yung aircraft natin. Yan, pwede nyo palang babaan yung opacity ng image para mas madali para sa inyo. So, ito napansin ko na hindi straight yung sa aircraft natin. So, ina-align ko lang siya yung wing tip to wing tip. That happens talaga. So, you can just rotate it. And yung reference nyo is yung green. And so, i-rotate ko lang siya. So basically scale and you hit R, press R. Yung reference nyo is yung red and you zoom out, you click the end point of the green one. And nakita nyo lumaki yung image na kasing size nung green. Yan yung actual measurements nyo na aircraft. And basically ito trace nyo siya using spline, line, circle or whatever. So ang trick dito is hatiin nyo sa sa gitna. Like what I did. And you just trace the left side. So yan ako. I made another layer just to see. Para hindi siya mag-blend dun sa reference lines ko. Hindi naman kailangan perfect. Pero nagtitrace ka na eh. So do your best at tracing, di ba? So 
also you can choose to spline everything but ako minsan pinipili ko na magline lang then after the corners saka ko siya sinaspline Make sure that all the lines connect kasi mahalaga yun. Small adjustments. Pati yun nasa gitna ng part, kahit mukhang kaya nyong ibilog, just do half of it. I-connect ka lang siya dun sa line na nasa gitna. If low ang pasin lines nyo, you can easily trim it out para hindi yun na kailangan snap Automatic naman magsasnap yun. Be accurate in tracing as much as possible because later on we will align that to the other views. As you can see here, I am tracing the one that is present only on the left. That's okay because we can erase that later. there basically you can save it so you will have a backup and you mirror then erase the middle part and there you have the aircraft and here for the three views I will rotate it first You can hatch those windows, but that's okay. And here, I am making rays because this is an important thing. The views should be aligned. So as you can see, I copied the main image and I am tracing the front view. Now, I am aligning the front view from wingtip to wingtip and I am making sure that the figure is straight the photo is straight so when I trace the left side and mirror it on the right side it will be aligned so I started tracing already again you can use lines, spline, circle kung saan kaya komportable as you can see I made a circle but then I cut it
Again, try to be as much accurate as you can. I suggest you trace the straight lines first before you make the splines. That way it's much easier to snap the splines to the straight lines. And like this one, do only half because later on we will mirror it again. In that way, the left side and the right side is identical. Make sure that you trace every bit and make sure that the lines are all closed and mirror it. For this instance, did you see that the, the mirror must, was not right, was not aligned? So double check everything. It should be aligned on the line. That's why you have the guides, the rays. And that way when you mirror, you can see that it will be aligned so final retouches the propeller and some other lines and hatching after that we will proceed to the left side view So again, make the rays as guidelines. You can change the colors or the points. Here I am just adjusting the wheels. So align everything going to the right. From your front view, you can align the height of the aircraft. Now create a line that is 45 degrees. So from your top view, you create a horizontal line and once it crosses the 45 degree line, it will become vertical. So I use rays in this part. After that, I just aligned the left side view of the aircraft from the from the nose and to the tip of the empanage then trace it so this task takes a lot of time and hard work but it's not complicated it only takes dedication and commitment Later on, you can turn on the reference points, the rays that we made, and you can adjust your lines. So the left side view will be accurate in terms of tracing.
as you can see I used the guidelines then I turned it off back again if needed so I can see the aircraft better Sadly, I was not able to record when I finished the aircraft. So that's it for now. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Take care.